In our last video, we have discussed about route parameters. And today, we're going to explore query parameters. So you might find yourself in a situation where you want to retrieve a piece of information with some criteria. Suppose you want to retrieve a person that is called John with the age of 30 and probably many more other criteria. For this type of request, route parameters is not quite suitable to handle it. So you need another way to handle it. It is called query parameters. Writing query parameters is slightly different from route parameters. You're going to write query parameters by adding a question mark at the end of the URL. Then after that, you're going to add your query in key value pairs format just like this this is the key property and this is the value and each criteria has to be separated by an ampersand this is the ampersand here all right so you can add as many criteria as you want but make sure that each criteria is separated by the ampersand okay let's switch back to the code editor I'm going to show you how to add a route with, you know, query parameters. We're going to write app.get and the first parameter is going to be the URL. And the next one is going to be a callback function. Okay, in this example, I just want to uh, show the value of the request query on the terminal by doing console.log request query don't forget to save the file all right and then let's bring up our web browser you know type http local host port 3000 and person all right let's start with a question mark and followed by the query that you want to send to the server let's say name equal John then the next parameter has to be separated by an ampersand h30 and then as soon as we enter this let's pay attention to the terminal because we are gonna console log the value of the parameters okay you can see name John h30 here all right then we can also capture this value and send it back to the browser by adding let's see okay all right here by returning um, the data in JSON format this one JSON uh, name uh, let's say message okay hello world and we're going to get access to the value of the query parameters by accessing request per query object query object name and then also the age right query age okay save the file and let's get back to the browser probably the browsers automatically get refreshed we can refresh it again okay you see that name john h30 if you let's change the value to probably robert robert h20 it's 20 all right enter you're gonna get name robert h20 okay then we can also add more parameters as many parameters as you want let's say cd uh, request query is going to be query cd and also country rank query country save the file and all right let's add the parameter here separated by ampersand cd los angeles and ampersand again 
country USA. Okay, let's press enter and see what happens. Okay, you can get back all the values sent by the server to us. Message hello world, name Robert, age 20, CDLA, country USA. If you pay attention to the URL here, we actually expose our data. When we type name Robert, age 20, and all these parameters. So query parameter is sent by URL okay which can be seen here so the data is being exposed and really not recommended for sending sensitive data such as credential you know username password and query parameters is normally only used for searching data that is not sensitive for sensitive data you're not going to use this you want to use like post method and send json in json format so that our data is not exposed you know just like when we do query parameters here okay let's call it a day i'll see you in the next video